So you uploaded a video to Instagram or TikTok and it looks like this or this, and you want those videos to look like this. Very high quality, crisp, aesthetic, and overall looking really great. Just make sure to stay with me for five minutes and I will show you how to fix that. It's very simple, very straightforward and easy. So you can maximize your video quality by uploading to Instagram or TikTok. And of course, let your followers enjoy your content way more and have way bigger chances to maximize your growth on these platforms. Before I get into the video, I want to mention that I do have a 100% free course where I show exactly step-by-step -step how I grow my Instagram to 100,000 followers as well on how I started making full-time income online as a content creator. So building a following, making money online through content creation. If you are interested in those sort of things, make sure to check it out. It's going to be the first link in my description or in the first pinned comment. So first I want to start off with exporting the actual video. For editing my videos and exporting them, I mostly use Adobe Premiere Pro. Also, if you want to get yourself Adobe Premiere Pro, I left a link in my description, but do not worry. You do not need to buy Adobe Premiere Pro. You can actually use CapCut and it also has high quality exporting settings. But me myself, I use Adobe Premiere Pro. So let me show you how I export my videos through Adobe Premiere Pro. So as you can see, we are in my Adobe Premiere Pro. I have the video ready to be exported. Actually, it's the video I am going to be uploading really soon or maybe I already uploaded it to my Instagram. Once you have the video ready, I'm not going to show you how I edited the whole video. Of course, I'm just going to show you the exporting part on Adobe. You don't really need to select the frames that you want to export. If you have a singular video for exporting. So what you're going to do is you're going to go click export. You can name your files. So I'm just going to name it real, you know, uh, location. This is where your video is going to go after exporting it. Now it's really important to go over to format, um, sorry, to preset and go to click more presets, uh, enter 4k. And this is going to be this one a high quality 2160p 4k select specifically this one okay now once you've done that make sure to click match source you're gonna find it on the basic video settings and you export the video all right so once exporting is finished you have your video right here on the desktop um sorry for the mess desktop by the way i was editing a lot of videos you have your video on your desktop now you want of course to transfer that video to your phone so you can upload it directly to instagram and tiktok now do not make this mistake where you send that video through instagram dm or through your email, it's gonna mess up the quality. So if you are not a Mac user and you pretty much cannot airdrop it, best option is to upload that video to Google Drive and just download it directly through your phone. That way you're not gonna mess up the quality. So what I'm gonna do is, of course, I'm just gonna airdrop it to myself right here. And now it's time for you to upload the video, but do not rush to do that because I'm going to show you some things I found that are going to make your video look much smoother when you upload it. Firstly, make sure you are on a stable Wi-Fi connection. I've noticed anytime I'm in public and I'm using my mobile data and I upload videos, they turn out to look really bad. So make sure you're using stable Wi-Fi connection, preferably just from your home. Now, the second thing, what I want you to do is you go to your Instagram settings right here. You go to your account settings. You go to data usage and you make sure that upload at highest quality this one is selected a lot of people do not know that and instagram never tells you that it's like school never taught us about taxes so instagram never taught about this right okay lastly when you're ready to upload a video right you select the video simply go and select the video right here what i want you to do right now is just let it play throughout its entirety till the end before you click the button called add right on the top of uh, before you click add on the top make sure you let the whole video play entirely and then just then click add and go next right now is that it doesn't matter here just click next now of course just write your caption make sure to if you want to select a different you know cover uh, aka thumbnail um and yeah after that you you ready to go you ready to click share and share your video now let's get over to TikTok. so there's nothing that you have to check on your settings as you did on instagram it's actually in the upload feature itself just select the video that you want to upload and again let it play out first before you click next all right after that i'm just gonna click next and now before you click post as you can see at almost at the bottom it's it's the setting called allow high quality uploads. Make sure you have it checked on and you're ready to post. 
As you can see, it's simple as that, but it makes a major difference. And again, guys, if you're applying all these and your videos still are turning out to look really bad, make sure, double check that your Wi-Fi is actually really strong because I had this issue before in the past when I was using bad Wi-Fi or I was on a 4G connection and I was uploading the videos and it turned out to be really bad. But that being said, guys, do not forget to join my free course. It's absolutely free and learn exactly step-by-step -step actions I took to grow my following from zero to 100,000 followers in less than 40 days on Instagram and it completely changed my life. And on that note, make sure to check out this video where I actually talk about it, how Instagram and growing a following Instagram actually changed my life. So make sure to check that video and also do not forget to